Electric current is a flow of charge. These charges are carried by negatively charged particles called electrons. Electrons can flow through metals easily, which is why metals are called conductors of electricity. Plastics are poor conductors of electricity because electrons do not pass through them easily. Poor conductors of electricity are called insulators. In metals, electrons can move freely between atoms. Normally, this movement is random, which means electrons flowing in one direction are roughly equal to the electrons flowing in the other direction. This would mean that there is no overall flow of charge. If a cell or battery is connected, more electrons will flow away from the negative terminal towards the positive terminal. This is called the net flow of charge, which is electric current. Current in a circuit is measured using an ammeter. An ammeter is connected in series in a circuit. Electric current size indicates the rate of the flow of charge. Electric charge is measured in coulombs. 1 coulomb is equal to the charge of 6 into 10 to the power 18 electrons or 6 million 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 electrons. As I mentioned before, cells and batteries are used to create electric current. They transfer energy to the charges. The amount of energy given to each coulomb is measured in watts. So as the charges flow, the energy is transferred by the components that they pass through. Voltage is measured using a voltmeter, which should be connected in parallel to the component that you are measuring the voltage of. There are many types of circuits. One type of circuit is where there are no branches or junctions, so there is only one path for current to flow. It is called a series circuit. In a series circuit, one switch placed anywhere can turn all components on and off. If any one component breaks, the circuit will not work since there is a gap and the cell's energy is shared between all components. 